Historically, obtaining hydrogen from water proved difficult for scientists, and those who attempted it were either killed or abducted by oil cartels with vested interests. But that never stopped the scientists. The latest example of that in Pakistan, where scientists are trying to introduce hydrogen as an alternative to gas and diesel fuels. And as Press TV's Javed Rana reports, it could well end Pakistan's long-standing energy crisis. Never before have Pakistanis resorted to violence so desperately because never before have they witnessed the failure of their government so miserably to provide them electricity and gas. People routinely vent their anger on streets, sometimes attacking government facilities and especially the offices of the electricity companies. The deserted roads and standing vehicles without fuel is just tip of the iceberg of the massive scale of energy crisis in Pakistan. The power crisis has been exacerbated further by the failure of government tainted by corruption and unable to provide them electricity and gas. But far from the corridors of power, there may be a unique solution to end the energy crisis. We travel over 100 km east of Islamabad to see the wonders of a pilot project to address the energy crisis near the city of Jhelum. This is a countryside area some 15 km in south of the main urban center where a resourceless scientist is successfully experimenting to reduce the heavy reliance on traditional fuels like petrol, diesel and compressed natural gas. Necessity is the mother of invention. The unprecedented energy crisis has driven a Pakistani scientist in a remote village to come up with a unique innovative solution. Behind me is a research center where the Pakistani scientist has managed to use water as a major fuel input to run all kinds of vehicles. And I like a lot of people. Dr. Ghulam Server is the scientist behind an innovative technology. He discovered the technology accidentally when he was trying to enhance the power of his limousine. To start the generator. This is the hydrogen generator he has specially manufactured. The task of the generator is to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen, a chemical formula better known as H2O. The generator, after splitting the water into hydrogen and oxygen, transport both gases through a filter to the chamber of engine. The hydrogen works as a burning flame along with any available fuel such as petrol or diesel. And this is the water reservoir to feed the water to the uh, generator. When water goes uh, to the generator and it's electrolysis from the battery, water supplies and hydrogen and oxygen start coming out. This gas comes from water and is dumped. When it go there, it's dry and then it's go to the engine. The cars running on hydrogen do not emit carbon smoke, but interestingly environment-friendly oxygen. The hydrogen as a fuel input has turned now to be at least 50% more powerful than diesel or petrol. Wow, the peak is great! The addition of hydrogen not only enhances the power of vehicles, but more importantly reduces 60% consumption of running fuels such as diesel, petrol or compressed natural gas. Dr. Server believes the hydrogen can be used as a 100% single fuel not only in vehicular transport but also in planes and industrial machinery. This is the hydrogen. The hydrogen generator along with one and a half litre water reservoir can be fitted inside any vehicle with an estimated cost of $400 if manufactured on industrial scale. This hydrogen technology can be used for producing electricity. Every home can be switched over to the hydrogen-based electricity. And also, this can be used for tube wells in the agriculture. The innovative technology can potentially contain the energy crisis and save billions of dollars of oil import bill of Pakistan. However, the technology may be now a threat to the life of its inventor. Threats people wrong me many times saying stop this nonsense what you are doing and 
Pakistan and we break your legs, we will kill you, we'll shoot you, this, this kind of nonsense. In past, we, we, if you see the history of uh, hydrogen, many scientists have been killed and many kidnapped and many never know where they gone. Nobody know where they gone. Reason being? Reason being that the oil tycoons, they don't like them. If this device becomes popular and uh, becomes very uh, common in use, their uh, profits may come down in terms of uh, level of uh, consumption of oil coming down, their profits may dwindle. That's their greed for profit, for unnecessary and unreasonable profits which they are making at present. But the scientist has his own unique way of countering threats. The hydrogen comes into this hose pipe. The scientist is passing down the technology to the next generation before people with a vested interest could possibly attempt to assassinate him, the government, instead of helping him, is discouraging him, perhaps out of sheer ignorance or maybe because of the strong influence of oil cartels in government decision-making. Javed Rana, Press TV, Jehlam.